Okay, this is an arrangement uh, of Alley Cat. I did back in 1980. I was 17 years old, had to do it for the Illinois Guitar League contest. I got second place for that, and um, it's alternate bass, and it was kind of my first introduction to uh, the Chet Atkins style without really knowing it. But um, anyway, here it goes. I'll play it, and then I'll break it down a little bit for you. slide up from C to C sharp and getting into an A form. the right hand, what's going on? You can see it.
Okay, I got a story for you about the Illinois Guitar League contest and the song Alley Cat. Uh, the Illinois Guitar League contest, the judges required the sheet music. So it was one hour before I was ready to go on and play before this judge that I realized I had forgotten the sheet music and that was, home was 80 miles away. So I had to hurry up and write out all of the sheet music within that one hour. I mean, it was alternate bass, and this had to be notation, and you know, the alternate bass, the rhythm, the lead, all at the same time, um, all had to be written out and handed in to the judge. Uh, we being teenagers, 16 and 17 years old, I mean, we were goofing around most of the day in the dormitory, and uh, we should have been doing more constructive things, but uh, Good thing, at least, I, when I opened up my guitar case to, you know, start practicing a little bit again, you know, before the time I was to go on, I had realized, oh my God, I cannot find my sheet music. It wasn't anywhere. So it was rather hectic and chaotic, and uh, it was scary. I didn't know if I was going to mess up on the notation, but I got it done right, handed it in to the judge, and there was no problem with that. But it was quite the experience, so never forget your sheet music. Take care.